Carla. Welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing another DIY project. I am going to be using fabric paint for the very first time. So honestly, I am pretty scared. This project may turn out pretty ugly, but if you're interested to see how this project turns out, stay tuned. So if you're wondering why homegirl over here is going to be using fabric paint for the first time, well let me tell you. My husband and I got invited to our first ever soccer game. We are so excited, but we don't even follow any of that, but it's still exciting to know we're gonna go see these people play, you know, kick the little ball around and everything. And so naturally I wanted to get in the spirit of the game and I wanted to wear some cute jerseys, you know, to spur on the team. But when I went to the store, the shirts are like 80 bucks, y'all. I was like, homegirl ain't got that kind of cash. I went to Hobby Lobby. I bought two shirts, some fabric paint, $20 later, here I am. So let's get started and see how this project turns out. So I bought some black t-shirts and I've already placed a magazine right underneath it so that the paint doesn't bleed through to the other side. And I just printed some letters from the printer, the computer, because homegirl didn't want to spend no more money on stencil over here. And so I'm going to be taking a white crayon and outlining the letters and then I will be filling it in with these colors. Okay, so now that the letters have been outlined, I'm going to be taking this angled paintbrush and filling in with these colors. So this is with three coats of paint. They look really cute. I'm gonna be throwing them in the wash and hopefully that white outline will be gone. Now I must say this took a long time. I don't recommend anyone doing this unless you have a lot of time and a very steady hand. I definitely would have a friend that has a Cricut or invest on a Cricut to be able to do something like this next time. 